Right, now my lovely people, I'm going to do, a, um, I'm going to show you a rose quartz crystal, which I got. It's a sphere. And I'm going to talk a bit about rose quartz now. Right, I'll put that over here, back up here. I'll keep that there. See that? Oh, right. Now, rose quartz crystals. I love rose quartz. It can be tricky sometimes. It all depends on your <laughs> mood. So if you're in a good mood when you can wear rose quartz, it'll get you there anyway. It'll get you there. Okay. A rose quartz is known as a crystal of unconditional love. It's said to boost feelings of self-love and foster loving relationships with others. healing properties damn I did have it earlier <laughs> oh, I didn't bring one I was going to I'm not going to find it anyway it's good for compassion it's good for you to access compassion. It, it helps you to understand, um, you know, to get move away from fear. To move away from fear and create an understanding. Do you know what I mean? Um, if I think about my experiences with rose quartz. It's like it attracts synchronicities, like moments in time which are recognisable, I think, you know. And also, clear your heart chakra so that you can bring some love towards you. You know, it gives you a feeling of self-love as well and self-worth. So, yeah. I recommend anybody get this. It's really good for relationships. You know, money, abundance, and bringing your abundance. It can change your old persona, your whole persona. You know, if you keep one of these with you. Also, if you get like um, eczema, for instance, rose quartz is good for for that as well to heal eczema. So, uh, yeah. I don't need to look down there and see what it's about because I already know, you know, it can really help level you out and, you know, give you a little bit of self-love. So if you love yourself, you can love others, you can attract love towards you, all right? So I recommend a rose quartz. If you want to attract love, go get one. And if you want to be love, go and get one. Bye.